It's state championship Saturday in Conway. Three NEA teams look to win it all on the diamond. Ladies first, Greene County Tech softball is in the finals for the second straight season. The Lady Eagles taking on Benton once again in the title game. Bottom one, Lydia Bethards grounds to short. It'll be an infield RBI single, one nothing Lady Panthers. Two batters later, Cameron Cole Clager sends it the other way. Addison Raspberry beats the throw home. It's two zip. Later, Marley Spear with a web gem for GCT at first, but meanwhile, Bethard scores, bitten up 3-0. Stanford commit Alyssa Houston in the circle. She had 12 strikeouts for Benton. Washita Baptist signee Carly Burrow pitching for the Lady Eagles. She'll wheel and deal for a K. Bottom two, Bethard's barrels one to the fence for a double. She had four RBI today. One run scores, but Zoe Reynolds fires. Jenna Lee Toombs applies the tag for Tech to end the inning. Top three, Bree Sage goes opposite field for a single. That's the first hit against Houston in over 35 innings. Top four, Reynolds finds the gap for a Tech base hit, but Benton stops the rally. Addison Davis makes the grab. She'll rifle it to Emily Reed for the double play. Lady Eagles fall in the finals. The Lady Panthers win their third straight state title. 7-0 the final. I think in the first inning, they, they found some, I don't know, only one ball left the infield. Um, and they, they strung together a couple hits. Yeah, some bleeders and ducks. And, you know, and then we obviously, Alyssa's tough to hit. She's the best player in Arkansas for a reason. She showed it today. Well, anytime you can get here and you can play the last game of the year, it, it's special. I mean, especially, you know, the, the pressure that these kids felt from outside in tenacity it took for them to fight and get to where they needed to be and to get in this situation and give us a chance you know I couldn't be more proud of this group of kids and, and my staff